It's no laughing matter when your PlayStation 2 controller does not have enough cord to reach the PlayStation 2. That's why there's the Mad Cat's 7 foot extension cable for the PlayStation 2 controller. I'm actually breaking in a new camera today. Not this one, that's the one I normally use for classic game room reviews. I'm breaking in a Flip Video Minnow HD, which is this thing that you're, well, it's making the video so you can't see it. Anyway, let's look at this. The extension cable comes wrapped up in a handy plastic case. It's sturdy. You can just, you know, basically drop the thing and it's gonna keep working. Try doing that with most wireless controllers. They won't work because they'll break and then you'll be out 50 or 60 bucks, but not this. It's uh, pretty awesome. Wires and plastic. Maybe they'll go back to them someday. It's got the familiar Mad Cats logo on there and it says extension cable in letters. Always a plus. It's frustrating when they use symbols sometimes. It has a uh, patent pending on it and it has screws holding it together. I like using a smaller camera for these inane reviews. The big one is a bit, uh, is a bit much at times. You have to worry about things like lighting. You don't have to worry about that with this. All right, let's unwrap the cable here. Here's your typical PlayStation 2 DualShock 2 controller, which is a really nice controller. And this is the cord that plugs into your PlayStation 2 game console. Or you can plug it into the slot here on your Mad Cat's seven foot extension cable. Works like this. All right, did you see that? You see how easy that was? Well, hang on to your seats, it gets even crazier. All right, what we're gonna do here is unsnap the uh, thing here. I'm just gonna call it a snap. Oh, look at that, okay. Now it's like the cord is unleashed, ready to play games. Sort of, uh, you know, take it out here, try and record with one hand, and unravel the controller with the other. You can't unravel things when they're wireless. One big negative on wireless controllers. All right, now there's, uh, well, seven extra feet of cable. So you could, you know, put this thing on one side of the room and, well, you've got a lot of cable. You can just sort of go far, far away. Thanks to the Mad Cat's seven foot extension cable, you can now play seven feet further away from your PlayStation 2 than you could before. And when you're done, you can roll it back up into this nice little plastic carrying cylinder thing and put it in your pocket, walk away, use it again. Another day. How can you argue with simplicity? You can't. Mad Cat's seven foot extension cable is out of this world. Built with space age technology, but not too space age, it's still using wires. When you get like super space age, things start breaking more and they cost more money. But the Mad Cat's seven foot extension cable is just the right amount of space age. And that's one of the many reasons I like it. It also looks like a tire. Would you look at that? Now that's a small camera. That did a nice job for being such a small camera. It's practically smaller than the Mad Cat's seven foot extension cable. In fact, we could watch the video that I just shot. Let's see, what do I do here? I edited that part out. Did I mention that this doesn't even use battery power? It doesn't even use solar power or wind or hydro power. This is powered by something even more impressive. I cut it out because I actually ran out of ideas. I, I'm not sure what it's powered by. I think it's powered by fear.